Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chaostical. Thanks for joining me for another video when today I'm going to give you guys a quick guide on the assault rifles. I might actually do this in a separate video to where I'm giving you guys a guide and the walkthrough and what's the best guns for different playlists in a separate video. But today I'm going to be covering the assault rifles. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to join Team Chaos to become a part of awesome team chaos so anyways let's get started let's jump straight into it so i'm actually in a custom games lobby because it's easier because i have everything automatically unlocked and i don't have to worry about showing this off to you guys but i can't because i don't have it unlocked yet so hopefully you guys do still enjoy the video sorry i am in a custom games lobby but anyway sorry about that but anyways let's jump straight into it so when we go down to create a class then i'm gonna actually just be on custom one so i'm gonna show you guys so let's go to assault rifle so the kn44 is really great especially if you want that fast fire rate with moderate recoil which this one is automatically unlocked so when you guys are on level one you don't have to worry about getting it unlocked or having to unlock it or whatever it is automatically unlocked for you guys to automatically use so the kn44 to be automatically unlocked is actually pretty good good so i i love the kin 44 i've went on quite a few kill streaks with it i have all the camos unlocked for it besides diamond i do have camos unlocked for it all the way up to gold so i'm actually have a series to where it's called road to diamond and i have the kin 44 xr2 and the hvk30 I think actually, I think I'm still working on the HVK30, but I have the XR2 all the way up to gold too. So anyways, let's jump straight into it. So the KN44 is really great. And if you guys want to choose this one, the best, uh, the best attachments, the optic would be the red dot sight. I always use the red dot sight, especially on assault rifles to make it more accurate, especially when I'm trying to go for these long shot kills or even the headshots. So I can get like a clear shot to the head or something. So anyways, you can have up to five attachments, but it does also come with, uh, it does also come with wild cards. You would, I think, yeah, you would have to get the wild cards in order to, in order to get more attachments unlocked. But let's just say I wanted to use these three or you yeah, have to unlock that one. So we're just going to lock that one. So say I want to use three of these It'd be in, including an optic. So let's go to so the quick draw is one that i would want to have on especially because it is assault rifle so the quick draw makes it to allow aim down sights a lot faster so that's that's always a good thing to have next would be next would be grip to because i sometimes i might want to reduce recoil you know while aiming down the sight so it just makes it more accurate while shooting and then besides quick draw and grip, maybe like I want to go for these headshots. So let's do high caliber or something, you know, or long barrel, especially if I want to try and go for these long shot kills or rapid fire. If I want to increase the fire rate or extend a mag, more ammo in each magazine, you know, it's really up to you. But quick draw and grip is one that I do recommend being on especially with every single assault rifle i would put quick draw and the grip on so anyways let's go to the xr2 same thing red dot sight reflex red dot sight i would actually recommending having the default one on so the default is a really good one to use and same thing, quick draw and grip and maybe like, let's say high caliber, you know, go for these headshots or the rest is really up to you guys. 
But it's the same thing with all of the assault rifles. Or let's say, okay, what secondary do I want? I actually use these quite a bit. I'm actually in the process of getting gold for the Black Cell. I just completed the XM53 and I did make a video on that. So I would put, let's say, Black Cell on as a secondary and okay, what? It's really up to you guys. I mean, I'm going to put Semtex as as the uh, lethal and then the tactical I'm going to put concussion maybe put two of those on and then let's go back okay let's go to afterburner so if you guys want to thrust a lot more which you will show up on the on the mini map you know unless you have unless you have the perk on so you don't show up on mini map but if you guys are one of those thrusters who likes to thrust a lot, I would recommend putting afterburner on. Or if you don't want to be targeted by enemy systems, then you can put blind eye or sixth sense. If you want to display the red indicator to be able to know exactly where enemies are if they're coming up, and it'll show you, it'll point you to towards that direction of the nearby enemy. If you do want sixth sense on, or maybe flak jacket take less as explosive damage or overclock earn your specialist ability or weapon a lot quicker or maybe ghosts cannot be detected by enemy uavs while moving so if you do have afterburner on i would recommend actually i don't know if i can do this but i would recommend putting like i'm gonna have to get rid of something to be able to do that but have both of these perks unlocked and then choose Afterburner, and then for the other one, choose uh, Ghost. And there you guys go. So you can have Afterburner on and Ghost at the same time, which would be awesome. Now let's go to perk two. So fast hands, swap weapons faster, and aim faster while sprinting, or anti-up, spawn in with a, a shorting bonus to your score streak indicator. So if you're... Uh, if you're wanting to get these score streaks a lot quicker, that would be a good one to run. Or you can have Hardwire on, Tracker, Cold-Blooded, or Scavenger. It's really up to you guys. And same thing goes for this. Maybe put Blast Suppressor on so you don't show up on the on the mini-map. While Thrusting or Awareness, you know. It's really up to you guys on those. I would recommend putting Blast Suppressor on. That's usually what I recommend to all my subscribers. So, anyways... Yeah, that that is it for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if this best class setup video did help you guys out with the uh, assault rifles, I'm just kind of giving you guys a guide through the weapons and let you guys know what attachments and what different weapons to put or attachments to put on your weapon. So anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed, don't hesitate to subscribe to join Team Chaos for more awesome videos each and every day i upload daily videos daily content to keep you guys updated with the latest cod information and to help you guys in game to become a better call of duty player and i will see you guys again tomorrow with another video